Welcome back to the Twisted Tale here in Philadelphia. It is summertime, so we are coming at you with a great summer cooler for today's cocktail class. It is again a very easy make at home cocktail for anybody that has a wish to put something fun and refreshing together for this season. This is going to be a bourbon basil lemonade. It is as, almost as simple as it sounds. We're taking fresh basil, fresh squeezed lemon juice, a little simple syrup, and of course bourbon as our base for the drink. The bourbon we've chosen for today is Maker's Mark 46. Maker's Mark we all know and love. It was the first bourbon I was ever introduced to, and look where that led, to, led me. So this is not only a great sipping bourbon, but also a great base for cocktails. It is a wheated style profile, so it makes it softer and very elegant and easy to mold and blend into these different citrus-based flavors and herbaceous-based flavors. The 46 for Maker's Mark, they take their regular Maker's Mark and then they age it for an additional couple of months in a barrel filled with wooden staves, which has been stave number 46, hence the name, and that introduces new oak, um, a real upfront body to the whiskey and different dimensions that make it a very interesting and well-balanced bourbon. <clears throat> so here we go. We're going to start off here with our shaker tin. This is going to be a shake and drink and we're going to put the ice straight in this tin and build the drink over the ice in order to get that ice melt um, and the water dilution going straight off the bat. So for our whiskey, our bourbon, we are introducing an ounce and a half into the shaker tin. So for our jigger, if you have one at home, that is one pour of the large side, one pour of the small side, straight into the ice. You always want to be putting everything back where you got it from as you go, otherwise you'll get clumsy and start knocking things all over the place. I've learned that lesson a few times. Straight on top of the bourbon is our lemon juice. Uh, again, an ounce and a half of lemon. So equal parts here, spirit to citrus. One big, one small, straight in there. And then for our simple syrup, we're balancing with the citrus. Um, we don't want to make this drink too, too sweet. So we're not going equal parts now. We're going to cut this short a little bit and just do a one ounce of our simple syrup. This is a one to one ratio simple syrup with just regular sugar. So you have uh, equal volume of sugar, boiling water mixed together in a pan. Make sure everything dissolves completely. And then you want to bring it to uh, a chill and bottle that up for your cocktail use. In the other side of our shaker tin, we are going to be muddling our herbs. So. Take your fresh basil, which of course you grew in your garden because it's gorgeous weather outside and why not? Nice fresh basil leaves and we're going to be picking five of these leaves. Very fragrant, seasonal herb. When we muddle, we are going to be muddling into a little bit of liquid. I use here just a dash of club soda. The bubbles in the club soda help break down the uh, cellulose in the leaf, but also the liquid volume gives somewhere for all of those really nice flavors to go as we're muddling. So grab your muddler and muddle away. Basil leaves are you know, easily bruised, a little bit delicate, but don't worry, they are in here to be smashed up. So you can go for it. You want to extract as much of that oil as you can, all of those essential oils are going to be infusing into our liquid and make a really delicious, refreshing cocktail. You're also going to get some of the green color from the chlorophyll of the leaf coming through into the drink just to beautify it up a little bit. Okay. Now we're going to introduce this straight to our ice and go for the shake. All right, we'll be auditioning for Samba Band after this, I think. So you want a nice hard shake, break down the ice, introduce some dilution in there. Obviously, you're chilling that. You can feel it on your hands if you're using a metal tin. And then straight away, we're going to be pouring this into our glass. So we are using a nice cocktail glass. We're going to pop the ice in there first and then strain the drink into the glass. Shake and drinks, double strain. That's our rule of thumb. You're straining out extra little bits and pieces. So there we have it. This is a beautiful color, but added beauty is gonna be a garnish. So here we are, we're gonna be introducing a couple of lemon wheels into this drink. So a lemon wheel is a really nice thin cross section of a lemon. 
that we're going to slide down the front of the glass to get a really nice visual appeal. This one will stick out a little bit. Final thing, make it easy to drink because this is what it's all about, is a straw. And we're done. You are ready to enjoy your bourbon basil lemonade. Cheers.